Hi everyone, it's Melody with Melody Pinsies, bringing you the best deal on pin mail. I'm here on the Disney Wonder Cruise. It's also pirate night, hence my bandana. And today's video is a little bit different. I am taking you on a full tour of the entire Disney Wonder ship. It's different from my normal pin trading videos, but I thought it'd be a great idea to share this kind of content with you so that you know what to do and you know what to look for when you're going on a Disney cruise. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. My name is Melody. I love to do fun videos about family, theme parks, travel, pin trading, and of course, Disney. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate the subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to go on a Disney cruise and let's go on with the entire cruise ship tour of the Disney Wonder. Wonder. Okay, let's start the tour of the entire Disney Wonder cruise ship. I'm currently on deck 10 at the very forward or front of the ship here. I'm gonna go around and take you all the way around all the floors. Before I do that though, I wanna give a shout out to these beautiful earrings that I'm wearing and they are by Marvelous on Main Street. Someone left these on my door as a pixie dust gift. I'm so grateful for them. I'm not sure if Holly Crawford left these or if someone bought them from her and left them, but either way, they are gorgeous and I wanna give her a shout out because I love supporting small businesses and check out how beautiful they are. All right, so now on to the tour. At the forward of the ship, this is an area that is a nice area if you wanna work out outdoors, if you want to be able to get some stretching in, get some yoga, do your own workouts here. We were able to do a yoga class here yesterday. I'll turn around and show it to you. This entire area on deck 10 at the very forward or front of the ship is completely empty. You can see that there's no one here. It was so nice to come here yesterday and practice some yoga for the evening stretch class. And right behind it is called the Wide World of Sports. This is for all of my fans that want to stay fit and play games. You can come here and play basketball. They also have a foosball table back there, a ping pong table. So really fun area to stay fit. As I keep walking around, you can see the sports games, ping pong, foosball over there. I'm gonna be passing this part where you can look up and up there is deck 11. Deck 11 doesn't have too many things for everyone to access, but they do have two important things if you qualify for them. Deck 11 has the concierge lounge. Concierge level is a place you can go to if you're staying in the concierge rooms. And it also has the Vibe Lounge, which is a lounge for teens that has video games and different activities that you can do. I believe you have to be 14 to 17 years old. So you see that mini deck on top, it is deck 11. Down below me is deck nine, which we'll go to next after I walk you around deck 10. All right, keep walking around here. And this entire bubble area here, this is part of the concierge lounge. So they kind of block it out so that you can't see the inside. I'll walk you inside and show you the elevators and the entrance of it, but I won't be able to enter the concierge lounge today. And also here are the stairs to be able to get up there. All right, so walking inside here, as you see the sign of Vibe and concierge lounge, these are the only two things that are on deck 11. So here you can see there is the entrance for the concierge lounge open from seven to 10. And they also have some decor out here. Um, and you have to check in. So again, I won't be able to check in here, but I wanted to show you a glimpse of the concierge lounge. On the other side is the Vibe Lounge. Again, this is a lounge for teenagers. Also won't be able to go up there because I'm not a teen, but they have video games, different activities that are catered towards teens on the cruise ship. All right, let's go back outside and keep walking around deck 10. We are midship right now. So the Vibe Lounge and Concierge Lounge are midship, which is the middle of the ship. I'm still here on deck 10. As you can see behind me, there are different lounge chairs you can relax on and you can watch what's called Funnel Vision, which is the area that they show movies. Behind me, they're currently showing Frozen. I was wrong. And you can hear it in the background. If I keep walking back down this way, we are going to head to something that is a lot of fun. Let me just turn it around and show you the view of the movies from deck 10. All right, there you are. So we're on deck 10, we're looking down on deck nine, and that is called Funnel Vision. They have movies all throughout the day and night. Look at the schedule to find out what movies you have. People like to sit down, relax, bring popcorn, bring their food here, bring their lunch here. All right, let's keep going. 
we are now heading to a fun area called the Aqua Lab. We were here yesterday with Kaylee and she loved the Aqua Lab. So the Aqua Lab is a little water park area. They have a huge slide there called the Twist and Spout, I believe. And it goes all the way up top there. And it's a pretty fast and fun slide for both kids and adults. You have to be 38 inches to go on there. Kelly went on it multiple times. I was able to watch her from a little video camera and watch her slide down the top part of it. So that was fun. So that goes up to deck 10, um, probably even deck 11. It's pretty high. But the actual place to get on is deck 9, which is right below. But it's called Twist and Spout and the Aqua Lab for this fun little splash pad area. I'll take you down there in just a second to show you a few other things on deck 9. I'm back here on deck 10. We're at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. You can see the stairs. They say that you're ready for a magical transformation. So that's going to await you if you go up there. So this is where boys and girls are able to come. I think you can come up to age 11 or 12. And over here are the hours. And then here there's a line tonight. It's Pirates Night. So a lot of people are doing pirate makeovers. Beat the shirt. Beat the shirt. So I just showed you a quick glimpse of the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and I was wrong. There is no age limit here. You can be three years old up to hundred years old. They said even the grandpa can come in here. So they can transfer you into a pirate, a princess, a prince, whatever you'd like on the Disney cruise. At the actual Disneyland Resort, it is different. There is an age limit, which is why I thought there was one here. Now I've stepped inside at the aft or back of deck 10 at the fine dining restaurant called Palo. This is a reservation based restaurant that you have to have a reservation in to dine. There is an extra fee and it is adults only. They let me know that I could give you a quick tour of the inside. So let's check it out. So when you first walk in, here is the menu. I believe it's a $50 extra charge to dine here. And they've got the nice decor here. You check in right here. It looks like it's like a Mardi Gras theme right now. They've got beautiful decor and flowers. It is very calm and relaxing in here. Not the loud noise that you're used to hearing outside. They even have a wine that you can choose from. Looks like there's lots of different wines. And this is just a nice place to be able to come for adults only if you want to get away from your kids for a little bit and take a break or if you're traveling with adults only. They've got the bar here. They're cleaning and preparing for the uh, next dining time. Back there, they're hard at work back there. Yes, fine dining here at Palo. And again, this is the very back of the ship, the aft part of the ship. You can see right there, that is the end of the ship. So I'm leaving Paulo. I'm going to step downstairs on the inside and walk down to the ninth deck. So deck nine is where you'll find a lot of activities and a lot of things, including Cabanas. Cabanas is the buffet restaurant that is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let me take you for a tour at Cabanas. They always have a greeter at the door and the greeter has pins to trade as well. All right, here we are at Cabanas. There are two sides of Cabanas that have a buffet restaurant. The first side has everything you could get, and then the second side is the same thing repeated, so you can enter on both sides of the restaurant. Starts off with the kid favorites usually, mac and cheese, french fries, vegetables. This changes every day, but usually there is a kid's area here. And then here there are some soups. Today is a split pea yellow soup and it is a cream of tomato soup. This tomato soup is really delicious. I've already had it before. Um, they also down here have some fish and veggies. And if you move along, they also always have a pasta station. So there's different pastas offered every day. Usually they always have the plain pasta with the different sauces you can choose from. And then more breads over here. And they also always, almost always have the carving station if you're here for lunch or dinner and you have accoutrements of the carving station. And then in the middle, they usually have a different type of specialty food every day, depending on what the day is, what the theme is today. It is Mexican food because we are in Ensenada, Mexico. So there's tortillas, rice, 
fajitas, plantains. This will change every day. And this is right in the middle of the Cabana's buffet. If you move along here, this is also part of the middle. You have everyone's favorite, the desserts. There's ice cream. You can choose from the dessert counter. And there's also some fruits and it moves along here with some of the warm desserts. And then on the side, on both sides, there's a little salad station. So fresh salads here. You can get some hummus. Um, they have a seafood bar. This again changes daily, but usually you can get some fresh, lighter options here on the side. Right outside Cabana's, you can see the slide right here, the Aqua Lab. And over here on the right hand side, this is a little splash pad for the younger kiddos that want to get wet and want to water play, but don't want to uh, get a huge splash on them. It's called Dory's Reef. This is a really cool area that my two and three year old will love. Behind Dory's Reef, now this station is amazing because this is open 24 seven. You can refill your sodas, your lemonades, your teas, anytime you want. And this is all included on the Disney cruise. Most cruise lines don't include drink packages. They just include um, like water at the table and you have to bring your own drinks if you want or buy them. But that one includes all the sodas. They also have a tea station that's always stocked with different teas. I like herbal teas. So there are herbal teas here, pomegranate, raspberry. I'm gonna grab one right now. Actually, there's even honey right here if you wanna put honey in your tea. They have a station for milk. If you have little ones that wanna drink milk all the time, come here and refill their milk bottles. On top of that, they have artisan roasted coffee and they even have the hot water button right there for my tea. And then if you go over to this side, there is half and half for your drinks. And there's also ha a hot chocolate station. So this is open 24 hours. They provide cups. I recommend bringing your own reusable cups. That's what I did. I brought a, my own water bottle. I brought my own water cup as well. So this is what I'm carrying around. So I'm putting my sodas and juices in here. I also have a hot thermos and I also have a regular water bottle. So definitely utilize and take advantage of this station because you are going to be able to refill all of your drinks. All right, so I am stepping in from the drink station to walk around to the other side, just to orient you on where we are. That's the drink station. We're coming back into Cabanas. And when we're in Cabanas, I'm gonna walk out the other door and show you what is out there. So again, Cabanas is gonna be the main place you'll go to get any buffet meals that you want for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. So stepping out the other door of Cabanas, here we are, and we're actually started a sale now, so it might be a little bit loud in the wind. Out here is another restaurant. It is called Daisy's Delights. At Daisy's Delights, they have lighter, fresh options. Also at Daisy's Delight, they have build your own bowl. You can build a bowl of different things that they have for salads. They have rice bowls, quinoa, soups, chili chicken noodles today. And here's one more glimpse of Daisy's Delights. Again, all of this is included with your Disney Cruise. They have even little, little fresh little wraps. It's hard to see because of the glare, but you get an idea of what Daisy's Delight is, and it's a fresher option. <clears throat> all right, let's keep going. We're gonna pass the Aqua Lab, which we've seen before from Deck 10. <clears throat> and as we keep going, as you can see, the ship is moving. Deck 10 also has something called Sully's Sips. Now Sully's Sips is more of a place for paid beverages. Okay, so here is their menu. They have smoothies, restore drinks, coffees, iced teas, and I believe they have a bar for adult beverages. So they've got your seltzers, they've got wines, bottled waters, Perrier's, beers, and they also have unique sippy cups. Right now they have some frozen ones. And then next to Sully Sips is what is called Ice Cream. I love their little puns here. So Ice Cream is the ice cream station that is open most of the day here. You can choose chocolate and vanilla. Sometimes they have special flavors. And you're always able to get a fresh treat with soft serve ice cream here at Ice Cream. This is Pinocchio's Pizzeria. But at the pizzeria, there is another fully stocked bar for you to enjoy. 
and they have different pizza toppings over here. They have a pizza of the day, and they also have made-to-order gluten-free pizza. Cheese pizza, margarita pizza. All right, so that is deck nine, but that's not all of deck nine. We're gonna keep walking towards the back of the ship now. So right now we're around midship and I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite secret spots and it's called the Cove Cafe. Now let's enter the Cove Cafe. The Cove Cafe is an 18 and up area. So it's gonna be more of a quiet zone. You'll see here, it's a lot quieter than back there with the movie. And I love this little cafe. It's a hidden gem on the Disney cruise. So they walk in, you can see they have, again, specialty drinks and cocktails. They have more higher end cocktails. They even have cigars that you can purchase. People can come here and do work. They can order espresso drinks. So this is a nice place if you wanna have a meeting and if you want to be able to kind of take a break to recharge without the little ones, or if you're here just as an adult trip, this is a great place to relax. Oh, I also love their pastries. Let me show you their pastries. Behind the Cove Cafe on deck nine is a smoking area. This is the only area that is designated for smokers on the entire ship. You will get in trouble if you smoke anywhere else. So they sell cigars in there and some people wanna take a break. You can do that in this area on deck nine. Okay, outside the Cove Cafe, this continues to be an 18 and up area. The adult only areas here are so nice because there are a lot of them. They know that there are a lot of kids on Disney cruises. So they wanna make sure that if you're an adult here, that you're able to relax and enjoy without little kids yelling. If your kids are the kids club, or again, if you're only here taking an adult trip, they have an adult only pool area here. And then right next to that, or right in the middle of that is the signals bar. This is another bar. Now, a lot of the bars offer happy hour drinks every day. You have to go on the app to find out what happy hour drinks are happening. All right, let's walk around the other side. They have two hot tubs that are also adult only here at the adult only area. And then as you can see, there is no one here. So what a perfect opportunity to be able to relax, get a break with thousands of people on the ship and no one here. I think this is a pretty good secret spot. I think most people don't know to come back here. We're gonna walk through the quiet cove and that's gonna take us to the spa area. So this is the census spa and salon in the census spa they also have a beauty salon barber shop and a place to get mani pedis with a gorgeous view of the ocean these are all by appointment only and you have to book them ahead of time fitness center is this way so the fitness center has changing rooms they also have another water refilling station if you're looking to stay hydrated and this area also is for 18 and up only so another place that a lot of people aren't at on vacation but how gorgeous is this to be able to do your workout and have this amazing view so the ninth floor has so many things as far as eating relaxing drinking and even working out at the gym so outside of the sense of spa salon this is the forward of the ship again the very front of the ship i'm going to walk down the stairs down to the eighth floor so on the eighth floor it's a lot of the rooms that are at the concierge level okay so you'll find the concierge level rooms on the eighth floor concierge suites state rooms suites and state rooms if you're not a concierge guest you will probably not be on this floor let's keep walking down we're going to walk down to the seventh floor so what's good to keep in mind is that if you're ever lost there are so many maps on every single stateroom, every single deck rather, to show you where you are at. We are on the inside of one of the elevators on the Disney Wonder. I just wanted to show it to you. When you're on the elevator, if you don't know where to go, there is a map on the top that tells you where everything is. So I try to walk into every single area that's on this map. 
but you can also look on the side. They have a digital board here, and it shows you everything that nice. is on the ship. We are at the forward of the ship here on deck five, and there are a lot of things to check out on deck five. There are also staterooms on deck five, but deck five, if you keep walking down, is also where a lot of the kids' activities are. Okay, so Kaylee's right now on deck five at the kids' area. I'll walk you through and show you the different areas that the kids can go to to play. They have the Oceaneer lab, lab where you can drop kids off. They also have what's called open house every day. During the open house, the kids who don't want to leave their parents can go in there with their parents. So we've done both. Kaylee wanted me in there earlier today, which we did crafts together, and then now she's there on her own. So I'm gonna keep walking down on deck five. Now we're getting toward midship. Midship here, you can look down and you can see what's going on in the atrium. So that's the view here from the fifth floor. Check out the gorgeous like chandelier up there. This is the Oceaneer Club. Kaylee calls it the Kids Club. This is where you can either drop off your kids or you can be there with them during the open house hours. They have all sorts of activities for kids there. And if you keep walking down, they're gonna have something also for the younger travelers that are not quite old enough for the kids club. The kids club is ages three to 11. But if you have younger kids, they also have the It's a Small World Nursery. This is by reservation only, and it is a paid service. And let's keep walking down here. This is the Buena Vista Theater. So the Buena Vista Theater shows lots of different movies. You can enjoy and relax and see movies on the big screen. They're showing Wish. They're showing Next Goal Wins, Elemental Marvels. A lot of the movies here that you would see in the theaters normally in pay to see, you can see right here at the Buena Vista Theater. All right, here we are, we're back midship. And this is where the Oceaneer Lab is. So open house means that I can enter in and I can be here because the kids club kids are not here right now. They have a whole animator studio where you can make animations. It looks like you can trace different things. They also have drawing coloring tables over here. Kaylee loves arts and crafts, so she's been loving coming in here. And then over here, you can watch movies. It is so much fun for the kids. And then on this side, they have the big screen and they also have like lawn games in the front. And then if you come over here, there's even more space for kids. They really cater to kids and making sure that they have fun. So I am midship on deck four and here they have the Disney Vacation Club booth. This is a fun spot to go to because they have this thing called a tattoo challenge I just learned about. So every day they give you a tattoo. My daughter put them all on her arms. She's gonna come back tomorrow, get one more tattoo, and she's gonna get a prize. They can also tell you about Disney Vacation Club perks and what you can get when you join Disney Vacation Club. That's on deck four. Over on deck four outside of the Disney Vacation Club booth, there is also a shuffleboard station. You can play shuffleboard here. All right, so we are walking through the ship. And this is one of my favorite spots here. These are the retail shops, okay? So we've got Mickey's Main Sale, one of the main shops. Right across from it is White Caps. White Caps is a little bit higher end merch and gear. And Mickey's Main Sale is just regular fun Disney Cruise Line stuff. Let's check out the shops here. So this shop is super popular. And if you want to make sure that you get the merch that you want, buy it on the first day because stuff does sell out pretty quickly while here. So they have all sorts of different types of ears, lounge fly backpacks, all cruise line themed. They've got more ears over here. And of course, my favorite souvenirs to purchase are the pins. They've got lots of Disney pins that you can choose from. Many of these are exclusive to the cruise ship. You can only buy these on the cruise ship, which makes them even more popular to buy. All right, so right outside White Caps, they have photo ops. They have the red carpet here when it's the Golden Mickey show. We have Jack Sparrow right now. And they also have what's called Preludes. Preludes is what you can go to to 
get snacks before you head to the Walt Disney Theater. We can't film inside the theater, but this is the main theater where they have the big theatrical performances, where they have the Golden Mickeys, the Frozen Spectacular. All right, I am back to midship after doing a little bit of shopping. And if you walk through here, you're gonna find the Shutters Portrait Studio. So as you can see, beautiful view of us leaving Ensenada. All right, so the Shutters Portrait Studio, this area is where you can see all of your photos that you've taken on the cruise. You can purchase them here. Right in the middle of that though is also their jewelry sales. You have gorgeous high-end jewelry, crown of the light, from everything from watches to rings and the nice cast members are waving at me diamond international you can always get some good deals on the cruise because there are no taxes when you're on international waters apparently keep walking down here this is where animators palette is this is one of the three rotating dining restaurants that you will dine at we dined here last night it was phenomenal i'm going to walk you through in here it's pirate night tonight here at the Animator's Palette, so there's lots of people dressed up in pirate costumes. All the servers are decked out wearing pirate stuff. I'm gonna give you a glimpse here. We're eating here again tonight because two of the one of the restaurants you've done it twice for a four-day cruise. So we'll be back here tonight. But on the screens, there are shows and animations that you can watch. They have a fun activity where you are able to draw something and then they animate your drawing and it shows up on the screen. So we loved doing that at our table and it was just a fun way to enjoy dinner at the animator's palette. I had to change before I came down to film the rest of the video. It is Pirates Night. They gave us little Pirates bandanas, which I'm wearing. I have this shirt that's kind of piratey. That's the closest thing I had to being a pirate shirt. So that's what I'm wearing to dinner tonight. Um, still got my earrings. I've gotten like 15 compliments on these earrings. Everyone's been complimenting me on these beautiful earrings that I was pixie dusted. So we're on the third floor, the deck three here. Um, they have a lot of the after hours and adult lounges here. Let me take you along and show you those areas before we head to dinner. So this is the forward of the ship, the very front of the boat again. And this area is called the After Hours. It has the Crown and Fin Pub, Cadillac Lounge, and Azure. This is where you can find all the adult entertainment, adults only areas. Cadillac Lounge does a lot of the tasting events. All right, so walking out of the Cadillac Lounge, we are going to see more adult lounges. Disney cruise ships have more adult only areas than most any other cruise lines because they know that most people here come with kids. But if you don't have a kid with you, you don't want to be hearing them screaming all the time or running around and making noise. So they really cater to that. And they also know that parents want to take a break. So this is the Crown and Finn Pub. They have a lot of trivia events here that I'll be going to later. They have a 90s trivia that I'm going to check out. And this one's really cool. They have this like, telephone booth outside. All right, walking to the center of the ship, this is the atrium. The atrium is also where you will be gathering for the Royal Gathering. The Royal Gathering is a special event that is free, but you have to sign up for it ahead of time on the app before you get on the cruise. You get a special time to be able to meet the Disney princesses. Usually there's three or four princesses that come out. You can do autographs, photo ops, and because they're so popular, you don't have to wait in a long line. You just get a designated time and show up for your own Royal Gathering. Over here on the atrium, you have the Port Adventures booth. They'll answer all the questions on what you can do when you're stopped at a port. They're closed right now because we have no more ports to go to. They have the photo areas that are set up here every night for different photo opportunities. And then walking across, this is guest services. Guest services will be able to answer all your questions about anything related to your Disney cruise. Make sure you pick up your free buttons here as well. They also have pin trading at guest services going to wave to Minnie Mouse. Hi, Minnie Mouse. Hello. Thanks for being here tonight and dressing up like a pirate. <laughs> All right. So let's keep walking through here. Right here on the left is Triton's. This is another one of the three restaurants you will dine at for the rotational dining. We also have been having breakfast here. We came here for breakfast and we came here for dinner a few times, but this is the restaurant in here. They have this gorgeous mosaic I want to show you. It is beautiful. Of Ariel and Flounder, King Triton, 
This is so gorgeous. I just had to sneak in here and show that to you. And you can see everyone wearing their pirate garb. All right, so we are here at the French Quarter Lounge. This lounge has a lot of events as well. They have crafting, they have trivia, they have another bar, many opportunities if you want to purchase extra coffees or liquors. And check out how gorgeous this is. We are leaving Ensenada. I'm glad it's still light out when I'm making this video for you to see. They also have live music here in the French Quarter Lounge. And here's more seating area. There's so many spaces you can go to to get some peace and quiet when you're on this vacation. Even though there's about 2,000 people on the boat, you can definitely find spots that are hidden that there's no one else at. All right, so moving along, these are the aft elevators, the back of the ship, and the restaurant here is Tiana's Place. So we have dined here before, we will dine here again. This was our first meal of the trip. It was a lunch meal when we first got on the ship. We've also had dinner here. So if you walk in here, Tiana's Place, which we haven't had dinner at yet, we will do that tomorrow, but this is also one of the three rotational dining restaurants that you will find on the Disney Wonder. All right, so as I walk in through here, again, as you can see, Pirate's Night is ready for all of the restaurants. It is more of a New Orleans vibe here. And you can see everyone in their red bandanas, ready to go, Pirate's Night. Tiana's place. Again, I won't walk you through here because it's so busy. I'm going to let them do their job. Okay, walking down the stairs to the aft on deck one. This is where we leave the ship when we go to ports, where we're going to exit the ship, I believe, and that's where the crew goes. At the forward of the ship on deck one, you will also find the health center. The health center is where you'll go if you need any medications, if you need any help with medical, in any way maybe you don't feel well. Um, if there also is a number that you can call from your room if there's an emergency, but this is where you would go if you get sick or there's anything that you need medical and health-wise. That wraps up the entire Disney cruise ship tour on the Disney Wonder. I appreciate you guys being here with me, following along on this journey. I really hope that this tour is helpful for you if you're going on the cruise, and if you're not, it's something that you can use to live vicariously through. I love creating content for you guys that makes you want to have more fun, uh, makes you have fun watching it, maybe you're entertained by it, whatever that is, whatever reason you like to watch these videos, thank you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up leave a comment on what your favorite spot was on the Disney Wonder. And if I go on more future cruises, I hope to do more tours of the other Disney cruise ships. All right, you guys, Melody with Melody Pins These, bringing you the best deal on pin mail. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.